Good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to be learning about Apache Polaris. So the goal of the video is to teach you how to use Spark uh, and write data into iceberg table and then catalog that information in Polaris. After that we are going to learn how we can query the same data in Trino as well. And at the end uh, if we have time we will also learn how to query the same data in Snowflake. So this guide focus on interoperability. So without wasting any further time let's get started. So in order to do this lab we need uh, a Snowflake account. Again you can also use the open source Polaris using Docker but I prefer the managed uh, Polaris because it's easy to like teach and learn on, on that right. So um, okay you know go to your uh, Snowflake free demo account or trial account and then simply fire this command. Create account, admin name, uh, put your admin name. I have deducted uh, mine uh, for sure because I've already executed it. Put your password, uh, you know, and then put your email address and then set the re region to US East 1. And this is important, Polaris to true. This flag is important, okay? Execute it and the uh, account will be created. All right, so once you have created an account uh, in the JSON response, as you may see, this JSON response, if you go to JSON um, formatter and then you would basically copy the URL. Now paste your URL in a new browser and you will see the Polaris uh, UI, Polaris catalog UI over here. All right, so the next step is we need to create an IAM role uh, for uh, a given bucket, right? And actually to simplify that, I actually have a very simple script which is called role.shell. All you need to do is put your AWS account ID, external ID and the bucket name and this will do the job for you. So I'll come to terminal dot slash role.shell and as you can see it made the IAM role for me. If I refresh here it was able to add the policy over here as you may see. So everything looks perfect right. So make sure to create this particular uh, role using the shell script. Alright so the next step is we need to configure Polaris. Head over to Polaris and go to connections and click on create connections. Now here I will probably give it a name called Apache Spark Connection. You can probably give it anything. Query engine, I'll say Apache Spark. Uh, principal role, I'll make sure I'll toggle this one. Okay, so that's important. And then I would simply give it a, a principal role. So let's say Spark principal role. I think that that's good enough. Click on create. Now this is quite important. You need to save this client ID and secret because you won't be able to retrieve that uh, next time. So let's do this. Uh, let me see if I can open up a text editor here. And then I'm gonna save these, okay? Don't worry, I'll delete this after the video. So not a problem. That's my client ID. That's my client secret. And then I need to copy this one over here. Cool, right? So make sure you do that because once you click close, you're not gonna be able to retrieve these, okay? So, all right. So that's done. Now, what we need to do is we need to go to catalog. Uh, click on uh, create catalog and then here we're going to name this as a demo catalog and then I'll probably help you with the settings so demo underscore C catalog okay then here uh, the base location so choose your S3 so probably I just want to make sure I have my S3 so some probably I would choose something let's see Okay, so now back to my Polaris and I will choose just temp. Okay, and then um, additional location, just leave it to blank. Now S3 role and on, I'm gonna tell you what to do there. So remember we created that role using that shell script that I, that I just used. So I'll go to here, I'll click on this copy role, paste this one here. External ID, now what you need to do is come here, go to trust relationship you will see a word external volume. Copy that and push, put that in here. Then click on create button over here. Now, once this is created, what you wanna do is you see, uh, you see this IAM user on, copy that, okay? Head back to the IAM uh, trust relationship, edit, and then this one right here, replace that and click on update. So make sure to do this because otherwise it's not gonna work, right? So I just wanna make sure that I explain you these steps. All right, so once you're done with that, click to roles over here, and then here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a role. Um, you can call it anything that you like. I'm just gonna call it my spark role. 
privileges i'm going to choose uh, catalog manage content uh, if you have if you want to use some other privileges you can do that but for now i'm just going to use that and here you can see i have attached it over here right i can also verify that over here so make sure to create that role okay uh, just the way i did after that uh, i think the next step that we need to do is uh, if we come here again back to roles we want to grant a principal role so now on the drop down select that spark role and now click on grant so now i think we are done uh, about the configuration part and now we can focus on using this in spark uh, how how we can write iceberg tables to s3 and then catalog that data into polaris all right so finally we go into the spark part which means we're going to create an iceberg table and then catalog this in polaris okay so i want to show you the steps really quickly so these are the environment variable that you got to play with so over here you will put the demo catalog the one that we just created over here demo catalog remember that's the name that we uh, we used uh, then over here you're going to choose the principal role that we created we made something called spark principal role so that's the name that you're going to put uh then here is your client id colon client secret okay and then basically your polaris uri okay so make sure you 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 go ahead and do this uh, stuff okay and then i'm going to just create a spark session cool now i'm going to create a namespace called spark demo and i was able to execute it if i refresh over here i see my spark demo over here okay So now we're just going to create this table on S3 and then insert some data into it. So let's execute the cell. Uh perfect looks like everything works fine. And if I go to S3, I don't have anything right now. But if I refresh, hey, look at that. I have my iceberg table right there. Perfect, lovely, great. I inserted some data into it. Let's uh, read the data from iceberg. If I now go back uh, to Snowflake, uh, you know, Polaris and if I refresh, I see my customer table. I see all the columns associated with that. So great right so we are able to write data into iceberg and we are able to catalog that information uh, as you saw in polaris all right so now let me show you the trino part right so how you can query the same data which is registered via polaris in trino so all right let me show you quickly i have my docker compose.yaml file all i'm using is i'm using the trino latest image and exposing port 8080 and then if you observe over here I have a folder called etc inside that I have a folder called catalog and then I have iceberg.properties and what you need to do is you simply need to paste this properties right um here you will paste your um url your polaris url this is your um client id colon secret as you can see and this is a role that we created right and this is a catalog that we are using and then guess what just one command docker compose up hyphen hyphen build right and let me actually go here docker desktop exec okay All right. Hopefully, I am able to zoom in. Let me see if I can collapse this one a little bit here. Okay, perfect. Uh, and then, yeah, just you know, Trino catalog iceberg. So I'm gonna use the iceberg catalog. Like as you can see, I can say, hey, show me uh, probably uh, schemas in 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 iceberg. So as you can see, that Spark demo uh, is uh, visible. Uh, if I go to Snowflake uh, Polaris UI. Here you can see that Spark demo, and yeah, I, I should be able to run this query also now. So yeah, same data. I'm able to read it in Trino. Then same data I can read it in Spark. As you can see, same same particular data, right? So I hope it helps. I hope this video was helpful. Um, all I ask in return is simply like, share, comment. and i'll make sure to post a deep dive guide because there are a lot of code snippets there are a lot of steps that you need to do but i tried my level best to simplify these i tried my level best to make shell files so you, you don't have to run over all these iam roles policy you just do dot slash boom roles created policy created and you just have to link uh, everything right so i hope you enjoyed i hope this video helped you i will try my level best to make another videos where i will show you okay now you have data in polaris how can i read it in snowflake right so i'll probably make some content around that thank you so much uh, for watching the video as usual keep smiling keep programming and i'll see you in the next video